Hello, my name is Anya Lim. I am the co-founder, managing and creative director of Anthill Fabric Gallery. Anthill is alternative nest and trading or training hub for indigenous or ingenious little livelihood seekers. We are a social and a cultural enterprise based in Cebu, Philippines, and we work to provide sustainable livelihood for Filipino artisan communities all over the country. This is a photo of one of our community partners, and here they are wearing their traditional wrap around skirts called tatis and a patch of their weave on their shirts as a result of their branding workshop. They wanted to have a uniform. Paulina here is one of the members of the community, and she is a typical representation of the many mothers we work with. We met her 10 years ago where she just gave birth to her son, Angelo. And in this photo, she ingeniously tied the hammock to her loom so she can cradle the baby to sleep while she weaves. She finds it very difficult to make ends meet because of lack of market access and demand of her weaves. She's also very vulnerable to middlemen who purchase their products at very low prices, giving her a meager income of $3 per day. We want to change that. In Ant Hill, we cannot compromise family dynamics of Polina vulnerable to wanting to leave her son and become a domestic helper in Hong Kong. We want to revive the weaving industry and help women like Polina stop undervaluing their skills and see the full potential of their fabrics. In order for us to do that, it's not enough that we work with artisans alone. We also apply um, our weaves in contemporary designs like this beautiful blouse that I'm wearing and work with different stakeholders like designers, production partners, so we can gain more customers. In Ant Hill, we find a typical value chain is also not enough to sustain livelihood. We pride ourselves by adding value through our community enterprise development program, where we build the capacity of the artisans to successfully grow their business so they can one day become self-reliant. From the five courses, I will put the spotlight on our master and apprentice program, wherein we augment the income by 20% with the condition that an elder weaver actually teaches a younger apprentice to ensure cultural continuity of the craft. This also provides for savings, and this is also where we come in to provide financial literacy. Through the years, we have grown our colony, serving 750 artisans from urban, indigenous, and rural communities. We measure our impact through the following metrics. Just last year, we've grown the average income, um, sorry, rather on, in 2019, we have grown the average income per artisan to 142%. It's also very important for us to look at how our circularity program is creating impact in the environment in our own little way. These are our works of heart, our beautiful fabrics applied in different creative ways. With these products, we promise our customers an ethical, transparent, and sustainable supply chain. But we're not only in the business of improving lives, we're also in a hot business. Data shows that there is a growing demand online for handmade and sustainably made products evident in the growth of marketplaces and platforms like Amazon, Etsy, and even locally here in the Philippines with truck shows and market fairs popping left and right. Our growth through the years also validates that we, that, that we are in a business that, that's also tremendously increasing our revenue. But with the pandemic this year eliminating our channels um, and reducing our business to business accounts, our online sales have also significantly increased by 53%. And the growing um, part of that is coming from our international market. This is why this year we launched our com first community fabric store to really bring closer our artisans to our customers. 
we continue to innovate and grow our impact despite the limitations of our resources and despite the limitations brought about by this pandemic. And we focus on being able to actually digitalize our community enterprise development program to run it to more artisan communities all over the Philippines through um, digitalization or online. We also want to launch this new crowdfunding platform that will showcase the skills of the artisans where customers can directly access them and invest in also their well-being and their financial growth. In the next three years, we aim to focus on growing our market through e-commerce, expanding our reach globally, and developing products on homebound goods, at the same time growing our fabric market, which gives us higher margins. Of course, we will support this market demand by also expanding and growing our supply chain and our production capacity. We work with a very lean team, but mean team, and we would have to invest in also growing high level management and establish a C-suite team with more level, higher level of competencies. Through the years, we have grown this community from four to 50 weavers, as I've mentioned, and they were initially drowning in debt. But in this photo, you can see them waving their bank accounts with pride. Paulina is also able to save up. And despite us releasing the Save Their Savings last year as a part of our COVID response relief, she decided not to actually touch her savings because she wants to invest it in Angelo's educational plan. And as you can see, Angelo is still um, enjoying sleeping in the hammock. So in Ant Hill, we want to be able to continuously create sustainable impact. We invite you to weave dreams with us. Thank you.